Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2022 Della Terra 271BH by East to West. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this bunkhouse RV. Then we'll close it all up here at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside the all new 2022 Della Terra 271BH here by East to West. Uh, we're gonna take a few minutes, spin through the inside of the RV here, and then we'll head back outside, show you around there as well. So first things up for the new 2022 product here that we're looking at is gonna be all new cabinet colors. So they lightened up the cabinetry inside instead of the darker wood, just to kind of give it a new, fresher look here. Countertops changed up a little bit, you can see as well. Flooring. Furniture changed as well, a little different coloration to the furniture. And then the material on the floor also changed. They're not using the carpet on the slide out floor anymore. They got this really cool kind of like woven material that kind of hides the uh, mechanics of the slide and everything. But that also is a really water resistant material as well as they use it in boats, some of the uh, like pontoon boats and different type of stuff as well. Now, while we're looking at the slide here, the sofa will flip down, make into a small bed. And then there's also storage underneath of that as well. Over on the left here, we have a booth dinette. This will also flip down into a bed. And it has two drawers, full extending ball bearing drawer, got a drawers here that slide out, giving you more pots and pan storage space. You can see that woven material goes right under the table area there. There's also an electric outlet back there on the wall as well. USB charger ports there in between those windows. The main subfloor is all vinyl floor, so nice and easy to sweep out, uh, mop up, all that good stuff after the kids are done running in and out on a good weekend. Spinning back around here to the kids' bunk area. Got some oversized bunks here. Window up top does open. Electric outlet, USB charger port. Window at the bottom here does open as well. Electric outlet, USB charger port. Each kid has their own light. Built-in ladder here to get you up on top of there. And then you have a heat vent down below. Door over here to the left is gonna get you in and out of the bathroom from inside here. But you also have a door in and out from outside as well. Up top here, you got a little exhaust fan area here. You've got air conditioning ducted into the bathroom. Skylight up above. ABS walk-in shower here does have the little pull across vinyl shower door. Foot flush porcelain toilet here. And you got your little sink area, some storage down below. Medicine cabinet area up above here. And it also has a motion light in here as well. Over here, we're gonna have our pantry. Pretty good sized pantry area right here. Refrigerator wise, you have the 10.7 cubic foot uh, 12 volt Magic Chef refrigerator right here. It's one of the bigger size refrigerators found in travel trailers. And again, it is a 12 volt refrigerator system. Over here, we have our Magic Chef oven, which does have a light built into the oven. And then you also have the light up knobs as well. So you can use either or. Just down below that is the electric box with the breaker and fuses and a heat vent as well. Three burner stove top there does have the flip up glass lid. Uh, the glass lid kind of acts as backsplash. Um, also, it will give you a little more counter space if you're not using that stove top, you can flip that down. 
hood range and light fan, everything all right there. You have your Magic Chef microwave, a little bit of storage over on the other side here. Window over there does actually open as well. You have three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers down below. Storage area underneath of the sink area as well. Do you have the undermount stainless sink here with the high rise spring sprayer faucet? Another roof vent right here. Ducted air down the ceiling area here. Couple speakers inside here as well. There's actually four speakers inside here plus two outside. TV feature over there. Um, you know, some people want to do their own TV, so you don't have to get the factory TV. Talk with your sales guy about the available options and stuff. Um, but uh, you know, depending on whether you want it to come from the factory or get your own. Electric fireplace down below there. They're currently using a 31-inch gray stone fireplace. Really cool, fancy electric space heater, basically, but you're starting to find those in a lot of RVs nowadays. Just to the right of that is a propane leak detector down there. You also have some shelf space you can obviously see. And in the right corner of that lower shelf space there is uh, your Furion radio system. Furnace and air conditioner control right here. Digital thermostat. Into your bedroom area here. The unit is currently pre-wired for the uh, 4G Wi-Fi type of stuff. It has a roof mount TV antenna on it uh, that you could replace with one that actually has Wi-Fi built in as well. It's got some pre-wiring for that stuff. There's a roof vent in there as well. Hanging closet on each side of the bed with some overhead cabinet space. And then you have a drawer on each side of the bed as well. USB charger port and electric outlet on each side of the bed. Window on each side of the bed and those windows do open as well. Over here on the wall area at the foot of the bed, you've got electric outlet and TV outlet as well. There's a backer in the wall so you could mount your nice TV on the wall if you wanted. Heat vent down here, but there's room to get in here, walk around a little bit, kind of maneuver around. You have the door there for privacy and everything. Um, the bed does raise up, so you have some storage and stuff underneath the bed as well that you can see pop it up in that picture. But overall, really cool bunkhouse family RV here. Great for you on the week-long trip or wherever you might be going on vacation. We're going to head outside, guys. I do want to show you around the outside, uh, and then we'll uh, come back in and close it up. Uh, real quick, I actually just forgot. We have the panel up here. I always forget this sometimes. Got to redo my whole video. Um, so here we got the awning in and out button, lights, switches, water heater on gas, water pump, and then our monitor panel and stuff here for the battery. Uh, you have your fresh water, gray water one, two, and your black water. Uh, so you have some informational stuff here. We'll talk a little bit more about the slide at the end of the video, go over that stuff as well. All right, now we are going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of the new Delaterra 271 BH here by East to West. We're gonna start here on the door side of the RV and then we'll kind of spin our way around here. So first things up, they did change up the outside pattern of the grays and blacks and stuff a little bit. Not a huge difference between the 21 and 22 on the outside coloring. Again, unit is a metal sided RV. Up front here, you have a large pass through storage compartment here. You do have a motion sensor light on each side. You can turn on motion mode or off, or just turn on the light in general. Uh, there's also a little handle there for the manual scissor stabilizer jacks. 
Now in the compartment laying here is the headpiece and stuff for a Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution hitch system. It's an aftermarket item this customer is going with. Uh, talk with your sales guy about a good weight distribution hitch system. There's a bunch of different brands, but Blue Ox is one of the most popular. They'll definitely be glad to go over that with you as well. The unit has deep tent safety glass windows. It's nice to have that tented window, just again, kind of, you know, like tenting the window on your car, you're kind of helping keep those UV rays from going in and fading it out, and it helps keep it a little bit cooler. Power awning here with an LED light strip built in there across the uh, back side of the awning material there. And then you also have adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. The unit has the heavy duty more ride step above step here on the main entry door here. This step flips up inside the doorway you can see there in the picture. The step is rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. Step comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet on it. So depending on your terrain, you can kind of adjust it as needed. Um, but overall, it does a pretty nice job here. It helps keep the RV from shaking, rocking, and rolling as bad as it's a little more stable touching the ground. Large folding entry handle here next to your entry door just to help you get in and out of the RV. And just above that entry door handle there is the model number of the RV. Again, 271BH. So if you're out shopping on a dealer's lot, that's usually where you'll locate the model number right here around the main entry door. Just remember that number to tell the salesperson what you like. Entry door does have a screen door. So pretty much traditional RV entry door screen door setup here. We do have the little Suburban uh, Elite griddle. So you have a gas griddle right here. Just back in behind that, you have an electric mini fridge. Just down below, you can see popping up in the picture there, it does have the gas hookup right down below there. And then you can also see that enclosed underbelly system down there as well. Just to our left here, we have the electric outlet for this side, along with a cable outlet, in case you wanted to plug a TV in over here. Couple speakers here as well. Just above the wheels right there, that little uh, silver rectangle there is gonna be your furnace exhaust. So when you do use the furnace in the fall or winter, that blows out a lot of hot air right there. So make sure the kids don't get around it because it can burn them. You have dual axles here. And it is a four-wheel drum brake system on the RV, electric drum brakes. Just back in behind that door right there, there is a cold water spray port right there as well. There's a little blue hose you can use to plug in and hose things down on this side of the RV. Now, when you get to the other side of the RV, you're also going to have another hot and cold spray port over there. I'll show you when we get over there. Back entry door here goes straight into the bathroom. Uh, kind of nice, the kids can go right up into the bathroom instead of tracking through the whole RV. Um, but the traditional hover step back here, again guys, rated for 300 pounds. Just flips up and folds back into the bottom of the camper there. Same basic entry door and screen door back here. Does have a lock on it obviously, so if you are using the bathroom, you can lock the door. Again, guys, don't forget to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country, uh, doing their very best to try and provide you guys with the lowest prices possible. It's really hard to do right now with the RV factories changing prices about every 30 to 45 days due to cost increases and stuff. Uh, but definitely talk with your sales guys. Guys, they'll definitely try to help you out the best they can on that stuff. Back on the rear of the RV here, you have a traditional spare tire mount and holder right back here on the four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in that four inch square tube bumper as the end caps pop off and it usually fits right in there. Water heater is located right back here as well and that's the little uh, gray the box down there you're seeing. Um, that is a six gallon gas and electric water heater. In the lower center, you have an inch and a 16th drain plug socket. Electric switch is in the lower left corner there. And then up top in the middle is your pressure relief valve. Make sure you relieve the pressure before you try to drain it so it don't shoot out all over you. 
up in the middle of the RV back there, just below that uh, middle running light, there is a pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. This customer chose to do that, so it does have that backup camera already on there that you're seeing. Um, but again, it is an option if you wanna do, and it puts a little, you get a little screen that comes with it, goes right inside your truck, plug it into your 12 volt outlet, and it'll shoot a signal to that monitor so you can see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. Up top there, um, you have a nice arched roof. You can see popping up in the picture here. You have a full walk-on roof first off, but you do wanna make sure there's nothing sharp stuck in your shoes or anything if you do get up there to check things out so you don't tear the roof. Um, also, you can see plumbing stack vents, air conditioners, uh, you know, pre-wire for solar panel up there, all that type of stuff. All that stuff, guys, is places where they've cut holes in it. And you wanna make sure you get up there and maintain those seals all the RVs pretty much have stuff like this on them, but you do gotta make sure you get up there and maintain that stuff from time to time. Back here in this section, you have a decent sized storage compartment area right here. The little panel there on the right is where you would get to the back of the water heater for winterization purposes. And right here next to that door is also black tank flush to clean out your toilet system. Down below here popping up, you can see your dump valves, two gray handles and a black handle all coming out of one area here. Detachable power cord here hooking up and you can see that cord runs pretty much almost the length of the uh, camper up to the front there. It's probably about a 25 or 30 foot cord roughly. Now up here in the lower corner here, you can see pop up, there is a freshwater tank drain located right back there. And you also have your heavy duty scissor jack there as well. Your freshwater tank fill just right here to the right of the door. And that is a gravity fill system. You can see here the other side of the storage compartment, but you also have your little docking station area. So there's your little blue hose for the outside utility shower. You can use it here or in that cold water spray port we talked about earlier. You have your battery disconnect, city water hookup, a cable inlet, and an electric outlet all located right there. Now on these stickers here, we're gonna pop these up real quick for you. Um, the first sticker is gonna be your main data sticker. And this basically tells you your production date, axle sizes, has your VIN number on it. Also, most importantly, has the gross vehicle weight of the RV. So the most you can load it up to before you basically risk breaking the frame and axles, hitch weight, all that type of stuff. So it's a combination axle weight, hitch weight, do not exceed that, very important. Next sticker popping up is gonna be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker here. And this basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. It also has the length on it now as well. Next sticker popping up is gonna be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. And that is basically again telling you how much gear you can load into that RV, don't exceed that. Next is gonna be your tire stickers. Again, very important sticker here, has your tire size, but most importantly, tire pressure. Do uh, keep an eye on that, very, very important. A lot of times when tires blow out, it's because they're not maintaining the pressure. If you don't have the proper pressure in, it can't hold the weight of the RV, and the tire can blow out fairly easy. Also remember, check your lug nuts. RVs get a lot of side torque when they're twisting and turning on their wheels, and it could wiggle your lug nuts loose as well. So definitely, you know, check your tire pressure, check your lug nut torque, all that type of stuff before any long trips. Up front here, you do have a little hitch light up here. Back in behind here, there's room for one or two batteries, depending on the battery that you want to go with. Um, it does come with one deep cycle battery from Couch's RV Nation. When you purchase from them, uh, it comes with zero from the RV maker. So if you don't uh, you know, get one from Couch's, make sure your dealer does at least throw in the battery. Very important to have as it works the breakaway cable and some of the stuff on the RV when it's not plugged into electric. 
two 20 pound propane tanks underneath that black cover right there with the auto changeover regulator. Power tongue jack with the LED light and manual override. You have heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, uh, seven way Bargman wiring plug, which feeds all your running lights, uh, has a 12 volt wire on it to help charge the battery if your truck has that wire. Um, also feeds your brakes back through there. Make sure you have a brake controller in your truck. Very important, without a brake controller, you can't control the brakes on the RV. You have a nice smooth white two-piece aluminum front here with the lower black diamond plate. Over there, just a real quick view, that is its big brother, the East to West Alta. If you like that, check that out as well. Very cool unit. All right, guys, we are gonna head back inside. I wanna close this thing up, show you what it looks like closed here real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new 2022 Della Terra 271BH here by East to West. And I just wanted to show you real quick what the RV looks like with the slide closed and kind of how it actually closes up. So first things up, we got our button right here. This is our 12 volt feed button here to run the room in or out. It's basically a rocker switch. You just got to push the button in and that will allow the slide to come in. So basically what we're gonna do, hit the button, you can kind of see the slide comes in at the bottom floor, upward at an angle a little bit. It's a flush floor slide when it's out, so it does have to kind of come in at an angle a little bit just so that it actually comes up over the subfloor. Letting off the button here real quick. So if you're going out with this thing when you first get to the campground, you can kind of stop in the middle somewhere if you need to run out and make sure that you're you know, not about to hit the electric pole or the water pole or whatever, you know, trees or something. So you can kind of stop where you need to, run out, check things, and then just hit the button again to continue on out. When the slide comes all the way in, you'll hear kind of a loud, clicky, ratchety sound. It is a uh, worm gear system. So basically, I know I'm all the way in. It just has kind of like a little slip gear on it right there. Let me walk on in here. You can pretty much do just about everything you really need to with the slide closed. So you can come back in, kids could go to sleep, get to your pantry, load food, go to the bathroom. You know, you could pretty much do almost everything you really need to do here with the RV closed up. The nice thing about this is if you were to go camping, hopefully you never have an issue, but if you were to go camping and say the slide malfunctioned, it broke a gear, or, you know, motor went bad or whatever, you know, you could still come in here and use your RV you just don't have as much floor space, unfortunately, but the RV is still functional. Your whole weekend's not totally ruined. Some floor plans of different you know, models and stuff will not be functional if the slide was closed and malfunctioned. So you can come right in here still and use your RV. So that's a nice little bonus for this layout here. Um, when you're ready to obviously go back out, all you gotta do Again, come back over here to your control panel right here and hit the button to run it right back out. Again, guys, thank you very much for checking out my RV videos. Really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with my RV videos. Remember to hit that bell icon to be alerted when they do some more videos. Loads of 22s coming in, so we'll be updating them often.